we are in a beautiful Roanoke, Texas day, looking at a very cool, truly one of a kind, 1934 Ford three window coupe. Walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. This car was originally built in 1982 by a gentleman named Bob Diner, uh, Diner Corporation. It was built for show. They spent several years building it. It took over 7,000 hours to build this car. And then it was reworked, cosmetically re reworked in uh, 1997 by Harbor Restorations. It's a Harbor Red paint. It's a beautiful car. It's kind of cool. It's got a lot of neat features. It's underneath the hood here. We'll get up front and we'll tell you that. But it's sitting on a full tube chassis, uh, one and three quarter tube chassis has a JAG independent rear suspension. All the suspension, four wheel independent suspension has all been custom built for this car, was custom built for it. Underneath the hood is a 1982 JAG V12, 326 cubic inch, 5.3 liter, has a T65, Borg Warner automatic transmission. You can imagine the man hours when you see the undercarriage of this. We put it up on the lift here and we'll share that with you. When it was originally built, it had a big, kind of looked like a hammerhead shark, had a big fin up front. They were trying to build one of a kind of hot rod. It went to the NSRA Nationals in 1983. It was built in Florida, in Oklahoma, and they drove it to Oklahoma at the NSRA Nationals. It has uh, Boyd's or Budnick style knockoff wheels, true knockoff wheels, blade wheels. You'll see the uh, intricate front suspension here. A lot of uh, one-off components. Nice swoopy grill right here. These bullet headlights on it. It has JAG front disc brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, JAG inboard in the rear. Kind of get a hint of it right here, but when we get you underneath the hood, you won't believe it's a uh, V12 Jag underneath the hood here. It's beautiful. It has a lot of structure on the bottom side of the hood. It's a clamshell hood that opens this way. The body itself is a composite body. The doors have been suicided, so it has suicide doors on it. It's been chopped, it's been sectioned, and it's been channeled down over the chassis to make it low like it is. Rear fenders are actually molded into the composite body or fiberglass body. Has power windows, has a power trunk, deck lid on it. Get you inside here, Recaro seats. Just kind of a, if you're looking for that one of a kind hot rod car, actually a piece of show car history is what I would call this one. So if you want something like uh, nobody else has, this tar will definitely do the trick. Your buddies won't believe you bought a V12 uh, Jag V12 34 Ford, three window coupe. I don't know whose body it is, but the structure's good. It restored in 1997. I don't see any uh, structure issues or anything like that. Paint's beautiful. Recently, they just put uh, four new tires on it and they took the wheels down and had them totally uh, repolished. Video of the trunk here, share the trunk. Texas Jag Rod license plate there. It's a faux plate. Has a uh, knockoff style cap for the fuel fill there. Fuel fills in the trunk. I wanted to share the undercarriage here, kind of give you a feel, but we will have it up on the left with the Jag rear end, that type of thing. Trans Am tail lights in the back here. Nice stance. Same thing on both sides, an air intake on both sides. Throttle bodies, it's got twin throttle bodies on it, Jag. Nice cream leather with Recaro seats, sculpted door panels. I believe this is uh, probably the original interior to the car. Or it could have been renewed in 1997. I'll have to get to the uh, article. We have an article on the car that I'll share with you. So as we go, start working the ad, I'll get everything together and uh, cover anything I might have missed during my walk around. It has a GM style tilt column in it. Down in here, 7,000 hours to build this car according to a magazine article they had. It will, a photocopy of that will come with it. 
inside here all the gauges are uh, out of a jag I believe out of an 82 jag looking at the powertrain is probably they used a donor car Smith style gauges all the uh, headlights and things are down here on the console jag shifter our windows are right there this is the uh, trunk switch right here anyway we'll get you up on the lift the odometer reads 88 12 right. truly, truly a work of art it's just beautiful under the hood here very cool jag v12 5.3 liter says on the valve covers here 326 cubic inch hand built hot rod look at the bracing underneath the hood here it's all been plated or polished cooling system feeds both cylinder heads six cylinders per side electronic fuel injection VIN tube chassis VIN is right there its title is a 34 Ford with an 18 VIN air intakes exit out the side here all AN style fittings has a uh, T65 clamshell hood here by the way has a uh, T65 Borg Warner automatic transmission in it JAG limited slip rear differential goes with a fully independent suspension in the rear and the front same thing air tank over on this side air intake electric cooling fan AC compressor right there all right we have this 34 Ford Jag rod up on the lift here for you vintage old-school show car hot rod kind of car very neat a lot of engineering went into this one jag independent rear style independent rear suspension has a jag limited slip rear differential with the inboard disc brakes coil over shocks in the rear here all this stuff is all was plated when it was built tubular structure chassis that's actually a work of art when you look at it the whole car is a work of art as far as that goes um, definitely plenty of strength to this chassis you look at the uh, brakes here the brake master cylinder the brake pedal comes all the way back and then reaches a pivot point here and then pushes it back on the booster so the booster is all the way to the back here kind of makes it nice and accessible fuel system back here not sure what this is I think it's some kind of cruise control that somebody may be installed at one time has a uh, Borg Warner T65 three-speed automatic transmission custom exhaust out the back you saw that all AN braided style lines in it aircraft style kind of feel to it bottom of the Jag V12 there motor mounts are all rubber mounted custom built you can see those mounts there these are big oil pan like 14 quarts or something like that as uh, GM style rack and pinion or rack and pinion steering that's power custom cooling system custom front suspension fully independent so four-wheel independent suspension on it jag front brakes on it disc brakes so again the four-wheel disc brakes all this stuff's either plated or polished and again adjustable coilovers on the front nose on it's not been bumped or anything recently had a brand new round of rubber put on it and the wheels polished these are uh, early Budnick wheels knockoffs true knockoffs are 215 uh, 55 R17s up front Bridgestones date code on the tires 2022 so they were put on last year or this year out back here also date code 24th week of 22 uh, tire size I'll find it here is a 255 55 R17 
Wheels look good. Early Budnick wheels are just cool blade style. 